Let's put our tinfoil caps on, mm -hmm. because although I don't think this is a conspiracy, I'm sure the internet will say it is. What's the most powerful union in the state? The Washington Education Association. What do we see, where do we see a lot of the strikes in our state? School districts. So under this bill, House Bill 1893, if teachers in your kid's school district go on strike, who's paying for that? Who's going to pay for their unemployment benefits and their pay while they're on strike, keeping your kids out of class? You are. The school district is. The individual school district will have to absorb 100% of those costs if teachers go on strike and get paid. Does that sound right to you? You have teachers who often go on strike and say, oh, we're doing it for the kids, while they're keeping kids out of school illegally. We're doing it for the kids. Now they're going to be on strike, getting paid by the school district. So you're going to pay your teachers to be on strike and keep kids out of class under House Bill 1893. This is the work of the Washington Education Association, not a doubt in my mind. This is the work of the WEA that wants to make sure that teachers can strike, even though it's not even legal to do so. They rely on their political cronies to give them the, the cover to do that illegally, and then they get to make sure that teachers will get paid the whole time. Do you think this is going to decrease the likelihood that teachers go on strike in this state? Hell no. We're going to see a lot more teacher strikes if HB 1893 becomes law. You can count on it.